Welcome to another video by DJSPRC. Today I want to show you how to change your ball links or should I say the composite pivot balls from Arma on uh, this Arma vehicle here in the front. You're not supposed to be able to wiggle. Not that much at least. And the first thing again we'll need to do is remove our wheel. Well, one of, the, one of the things I do like is just to put the wheel underneath the vehicle itself. That way it holds everything in. We'll grab our two mil. There's one in the front here. All right. You remove your first, first, set of, first set of screws, should I say. And this two mil. Pull it out. And you'll have this one here too. And one of the things I do is basically I try to keep them in the order I took them out or where they are. Now, between this guy and this guy, they'll be the same length. That doesn't matter if you do mix them up. But I know for the, these guys here, they're two different lengths. But what I do, I keep one up here and one lower here. That tells me when I come back to put this back, Oh, the upper one goes here, the lower one goes here. And you take it out. Now I'll do the bottom one here. Of the steering link. Again, put it down here. I'll do the upper one. Again, these two here two are two mil. And put up up here and remove the link now to that's one of the reason we're changing these pivot balls because they're not supposed to be to fall by themselves or push them that easy this guy here doesn't matter if you mix it one way or the other doesn't matter same thing for this guy here but again you're not really supposed to be able to pop them with ease we do have four new ones here. Again, what I do, grab a pair of pliers just to hold the, the ball itself. Then I just push it towards me. And I love when I hear the talk or the snap. Tells me that's correctly in. And I always make sure they can move freely. And then we're gonna put them back on the vehicle. You'll notice too. Put them back, especially on the shock tower here, they are keyed. But sometimes they are a pain to install. I got lucky right now, no issues. <laughs> but sometimes, yes, they're, because they're hard, they're new. <clears throat> And you have to perfectly align them. If they're not aligned, it doesn't go in. Even for the back one here. I might have talked too fast. Oh, I think I just got it. Did Nope. Sometimes putting a little bit of pressure, it will start going like it did. Oop. It's a little bit hard for me. I'm right, right-handed, not lefty. 
Now we'll pop this one here too. Grab our top screw. Again, having the same issue. The other thing you could do sometimes, this is the wrong screwdriver here, grab something that you can put in the hole to make sure it is aligned. See that worked. That one's in. Now we'll do our steering one. Come on. There we go. Make sure it's aligned. See this one it's not doesn't want to align itself. Again, what I do, I'll grab like this is my 1.5. It'll be able to align it. There we go. It's coming out right here. Now I know it is aligned. There we go. all of these guys here you could put them put them in the garbage or keep them if you ever one one day you lose one you'll have them close by be able to make do for uh, continuing your run or something and now we just need to put our tire back on Now, if you guys have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you hit that bell notification in the corner, it will let you know next time I upload a video. Thank you.